All right, so here's how to play How to Be Lonely. And this was the easiest way I could think to do it for a beginner. So this is focused on the beginners out there who want to play this tune. So what you want to do is um, start out, we're going to start out with a G power chord. So you start with your index finger on third fret of low E, ring finger, uh, fifth fret of A, and pinky, fifth fret of D. Now, see where your ring finger and your pinky are. Those are that's a really important position because that's gonna we're gonna keep going back to that. So where your index finger is is the root note, and the root note is gonna keep changing, but we're gonna keep going back to this position with ring finger and pinky on fifth fret. So if you can palm mute, so you just set your you kind of karate chop down by the bridge here and get a muted sound. If you don't want to do that, if it's too hard, don't worry, just, just play the notes, it's fine. But I'm going to use the palm muting, so it might sound a little more muted. Alright, so here's, the, uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to pluck the E string, then the A, then the D, then the A, okay. Then we're going to use our index finger, and we're going to move it to the second fret of the G and we're going to pluck that note. So that's the very first sequence. Okay. Now we're going to do that again except we're going to play second fret of G then go into fourth fret of G. Okay, so that's the intro. Now we're into the verse. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing pretty much on the with the G as the root note two times. Okay, now we're gonna change the root note as I was talking about. So remember ring finger and pinky are kind of living there. So we're gonna pluck the open E. So same thing just with a different root note. Okay. Then we're going to go change the root note again to a C. So index finger, third fret of A. So now, since you're playing that note and your ring finger and pinky need to be ready to go there, right? But they can't be touching down yet. So you've got to go got to play the third fret of the A, then set your ring finger down on fifth fret of A. Okay. So now this is the part where we go here, but we're going to do something slightly different this time. We're going to go... So we're just all on G, second fret, four, uh, second fret, fourth fret, pinky down fifth fret, back to fourth fret. So we had, okay, so that's kind of like the extended um, sequence with all these different little patterns. So that gets us through the first part of the verse. Now second part of the verse. Now we're going to do an A, so we're going to go. So that's just open A, then set down, and we're going all the way to that 4th fret. Then we're going to E. Now we're going to go to C again, but we're going to do an abbreviated, where it ends right there on that 5th fret of the A. Alright, so that's going to get us all the way to the chorus, but I want to run through the intro and the verse so you have a practice section. So I'm going to try to play a little slower. So here's what we've got. So, sorry, starting on intro. Second part.
part of verse. So just practice with that section like 10, 20 times and you'll have down the intro and the verse sequence. All right, so uh, going with the chorus now. So the chorus chords. So we're gonna start on a G chord. So middle finger, third fret of low E, ring finger, third fret of B, pinky, third fret of high E. And I just mute out the A with the bottom part of my middle finger. If you want, you can set your index finger down on the second fret but I usually just mute out the A. So we got a simple strum pattern. Down, 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 up, down. Down, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down. Down, down, up. All right. So think of that as a group of four. One, two, three, four. Then we're gonna switch to C. So index finger, first fret of B, middle finger, second fret of D, ring finger, third fret of A. And we're going to do three more of those. One, two, three. Now we got to switch up to D for the fourth one. So index finger, second fret of G, middle finger, second fret of high E, ring finger, third fret of B. So all together. to that. So um, hope that helps you get a good start on this song. Go ahead, hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.